Hey guys, how's it going today? This is Ken from KenMorrisPhotography.com and I'm going to be showing you an uh, editing technique that I use to do a very high contrast, painterly, uh, blown out skin uh, look while retaining some detail within the skin at the same time. So let's go ahead and get into it. The uh, first step we need to do is make sure that we are opening our file as a smart object. Um, if you don't know how to do that, just Google it and I'll show you how to do it. I'm not going to take the time to do it here. This is more of an advanced class. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate new copy via, uh, new smart object via copy, new smart object via copy. We're going to make two copies and we're going to go to the first copy, double click and move into our camera raw. From here, we're going to go just take the exposure down. We want to make sure we have no clipping, not exposure, I'm sorry, contrast. We want no clipping, no detail. Let's bring our highlights back. Um, we really just want to flatten this image down as much as we can. Uh, really, that's all we're doing with this layer. I'm going to hit OK. Then I'm going to double click on the layer above that. And first thing I'm going to do is yeah we got a little blown out there but that's okay I'm going to convert to grayscale and here I'm gonna adjust the red channel which is gonna give me the adjustments as you can see if I yank it way over it's gonna be the redness of the skin Some people ask how you take redness out of skin uh, you do that here in this red channel uh, you don't want to overdo it though with the red channel because that ends up taking a lot of red out of the lips and we expect the lips to be red so I don't normally mess with it here I can do it later um, what I am going to adjust is the orange so that's the main skin color um, inside of most people is orange uh, sometimes you'll get a little bit of yellow uh, very rarely will you see it the green but the red and the orange and the yellow are where all of our skin colors kind of lie so that's where we're going to make the adjustments uh, for John, what I'm going to do is just brighten up the skin uh, just a little bit, and this will take away some of the imperfections in the skin and also um, lighten it up just a little bit because the image was just a little bit dark. I'm going to hit OK, and what you can see is we've got the black and white image here, which we don't want. We need to add a blend mode to this layer, and we're going to use blend mode soft light. So now you can see we got this soft light blend mode, and... It's looking kind of good, but one thing I forgot to do, and the beauty of the smart object, is I can still go back in and change this. I need to go to this general settings and add that contrast back in that I took out before and add a little bit of clarity into it. So hit OK, and you should see we get a little bit more punch. There's that one, and there's this one. So I'm liking what I'm seeing here. And you can go ahead and change these layers back and forth all you want um, until it's perfect the way you like it. I kind of like what I'm seeing right now. So what I'm going to do is hit Shift, Option, Command, and E all at the same time. Get a new layer on top. And then I'm going to just create... Uh, actually, you can if you want to, you can just use the shortcut Command J and create a new layer right above it. Um, in this layer, what I'm going to do is some quick editing um, well or editing but quick uh, skin retouching is what I'm gonna do here and this is gonna be real quick uh, I don't need much it's a guy's uh, a guy picture um, so if I see option here see my little bullet I'm gonna sample the skin I wanna get rid of that real big highlight right there and a couple of the little hairs that we have here but really by adjusting that skin color I have already given a good foundation kind of like when a makeup artist lays foundation down uh, to where I don't have to do as much retouching because I've gotten rid of a lot of the color differences that we're gonna find here I'm really just retouching hairs that were all over the place um, other than that, that's about all I'm going to do here. And again, you can take more time and retouch everything you want, but that's not the main goal of this uh, class. And I'm just going to go ahead and merge this down. 
Uh, so I keep my layer palette a little bit smaller. And on this layer, what we're going to do, this is where we're going to get the effects. Um, we're going to, actually not on this layer, but what I'm going to do is create two new layers. So we're going to go to layer, new, new layer. We're going to call it soft light again. And we're going to go, now if I wanted this to look really edgy and hardcore, I could take it to... Uh, the blend mode to let's say overlay or hard light, but I like soft light for this. I'm going to fill it with 50% gray. I'm going to grab my dodge and burn tool. We're going to start with the burn and I'm just going to go ahead and darken the areas down. Make sure you're set to mid-tones, 10% exposure. Uh, that's just the settings that I like to use and I'm just going to burn in some of the spots that I want to see darker on this image, like his beard. We're going to burn around here across the lips. Uh, we definitely want to just shrink this brush a little bit, get his eyebrows. And it may not look like it's doing much right now, but it's really going to add to the image when we get this all said and done. Um, it's going to really look good at that point. So just keep burning in the areas you want to darken everything down. And again, I'm going real quick here so I can keep this a shorter cast. We can go ahead and burn some of these lines in the shirt down, add a little contrast into the shirt, and right around the neck collar here as well. All right, next thing we're going to do is grab the dodge tool. And the dodge, we're just going to go in places we want to lighten the skin. And we're going to go right in here, right across the bridge of the nose. We want to lighten under the eyes a little bit right on the cheekbone again over here under the eyes we want to lighten some and I think we're gonna be looking good with dodge and burn here this is a real quick dodge and burn you can take a lot of time on this you can take as much time as I'm taking here it's really up to you and the look that you're looking for go into the shirt and just pop the shirt just a little bit so we can get a little bit of detail in here alright now we're going to just go here, turn this layer on and off, and you can see the big difference that we made. Let me miss a little spot right here. Lightning. You can see the big difference we made in contrast of that image by just dodging and burning it just a little bit, make the transitions a little bit smoother from light to dark. Image is looking real good at this point in time. Let's just a little bit right here. All right. I'm liking I'm I'm really liking the way that looks now. So what I'm gonna do is again another shift command or shift option command E, create a layer on top of that. From this layer, this is where we're gonna get a little crazy. We're gonna go into filter, we're gonna go into noise, we're gonna go to reduce noise, and we're gonna use these exact settings, 10 0, 0, 0. So write these settings down, these are the ones you're gonna want. We're gonna take a full strength of reducing noise remove everything out of this. We're not going to keep any noise around in this image at all. So here we go. We'll just hit OK with that. And what you're going to see here is it kind of blurs the image. We have no structure, no detail, no nothing. We just completely removed any noise that might be inside of this image and blurred it. But what we're going to do right after we do that I'm going to go back into filter. We're going to go back into sharpen. We're going to go unsharp mask. And I'm going to use these settings. These are kind of the settings that I like. But let me show you. We go down to one amount. I would recommend staying around a 1.5 radius. Anything more than that starts looking crazy. So 1.5 is good for me. But as we add, so 500, you can see we get all that crisp line detail back. Little overkill there, so I'm gonna go about 190. Looks good to me here. That's where I'm normally at, about 190. Hit OK. Now let's zoom back into this image. We just brought back. Let's let's. We just brought back a bunch of detail in that image. So let's just jump into history, so we can look at that. That's when we reduced the noise. That's when we added the unsharp mask. Just look at it pop right back into place everything full detail looking great again and we also are getting that painted look that we can't get that a lot of times when we use we lose detail uh, with unsharp mask we can bring it back in 
and really get a good look of the image. So from there, what I do normally is just add a layers adjustment. We're going to add another black and white adjustment and a hue saturation layer. I'm going to start with the black and white. We're going to change the blend mode over to soft light. Um, actually, that's a hard light. Soft light change. And then this is where we can really fine tune the skin again. I want to, If I want to brighten it up some more, if I want to darken it down more, uh, we can make those changes here. I don't like this at 100%. I normally bring it back to about 50% and fine tune that skin again. And I think I'm going to darken it down just a little bit. Uh, levels adjustment. If I felt like my levels were off, I could adjust here. But I think I'm good there. And last but not least is hue saturation where I'm going to just drop the overall hue saturation about 14% and drop the reds back 5 or 6%. And from here, I'm going to click on the mask, grab a black brush, and paint back in the lip color that we have. Actually, I'm sorry, I didn't grab the brush. The brush, paint back in the lip color, paint back in the eye color because we lost a lot of that red and saturation that we had there. And bring this, that opacity down just a little bit. And that's about it. That's what I do to get my really high contrast, soft skin, no detail, but no detail look. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. It's, it's a cool little technique that I use. It's not something that I use on everything, but it's definitely what I like. And let's get a little before after. So that is the before image. Let me find here. Before image. And this is my after image. So big change to the image, but I think it definitely just gives it a little something, a little bit different kind of pale skin look um, that you're seeing in a lot of fashion doing right now. Um, if you don't like how pale that is, you can always go back into hue saturation. And I'm actually going to do this and bring the saturation back just a little bit. I think I took a little too much out. I think I'm going to go with zero on that and just adjust the reds. There we go. I like that a little bit better, but you can see it's got endless possibilities that you could do. I'm Ken Morris of Ken Morris Photo Design. If you enjoyed it, follow me at facebook.com slash Ken Morris Photography. You can follow me on Twitter at the Ken Morris. And if you go to KenMorrisPhotography.com, you can go ahead and leave me a post, leave me a comment. Uh, just mention anything else that you want to see done as far as editing. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. I'm Ken Morris. Have a great day, guys.